Many of us are looking for ways to boost our immune system to protect ourselves from COVID-19 right now, so we're turning to supplements. But some of them could cause some major issues for us. 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live to talk about a popular one that could cause an extremely painful problem. Jenny, I've certainly been popping them. I know a lot of us have. It's probably the one supplement many of us have in our cabinets as we speak. It is vitamin C and it's good for all kinds of things. As you mentioned, it's supposed to help boost your immune system, but taking too much of this supplement can lead to something that I've heard is very painful, kidney stones. Uh, there are some studies suggesting that um, not dietary, but supplemental vitamin C at doses more than a gram a day uh, you know, a thousand milligrams a day can increase your risk for stones because of the effect of the oxalate uh, levels in your urine be, you know, increasing. Dr. David Hernandez is a urologist and professor for USF Health. He says vitamin C is good for you, but it's better to get it from your diet. In general, uh, you know, a well-balanced diet with plenty of fruits and vegetables, um, preferably lean meats and things like that, you're gonna get everything. And he says another key to avoiding kidney stones is to stay hydrated. You got to drink plenty of fluid. What you drink is not nearly as important as how much you drink. Uh, the water is fantastic for preventing stones. This is probably one of the best sources right here in orange, of course. Now, a couple other things you need to watch out for. According to Dr. Hernandez, a diet that's high in sodium and processed foods with not a lot of vegetables and fatty meats. He also says that taking supplements, they can be helpful, but if you're taking more than one, you need to really read what's inside of these so you're not doubling up on certain vitamins and taking too much. And he says uh, everything in moderation. That's what you gotta remember. Just too much something may not be a good thing. So everything in moderation, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Chocolate in moderation.